How you doing guys? How's it going? QS and Matt here. Hope you guys are safe. Hope you guys are healthy. Hope you guys are ready for a super fun workout today. So, today's workout, I really wanted to focus on you guys' kicks. Taekwondo is super well known for its kicks. You gotta use a lot of kicks in your sparring, kicks in your forms. So I wanted to work on some basic kicks, some advanced kicks, all kinds of kicks today. So we're gonna do a lot of kicking. At the end of the video, just like I'm always gonna do, we're gonna have a super fun challenge, really challenge yourself, see if you guys can accomplish that. So, first things first, we gotta warm up. So at first warm for you guys, we're gonna do some line jumps. So over here, make an imaginary line, or you could use a real line, I'm just gonna use an imaginary line. We're gonna do forward and backward line jumps. Over here, hands up for bounce, and just start bouncing. Try to go pretty quick. Start out a little slower and then go as fast as you can. Just get comfortable. Just get the blood flowing. Here we go. That's it. Keep bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Ten more seconds. Best you can. Go, go, go. And good. There we go. Shake out the legs. All right. Same thing. Line jumps, but now side to side. So nice, easy warm up. Just get into this again. You could use, you know, a real line. Line, and just start bouncing. I like to use my hands as a counter bounce so I can jump faster. Here you go, try to use that trick. Just focus on your breathing and get the blood flowing. Ready five more seconds, keep pushing as fast as you can. And good. All right, shake it out. Deep breath in. And now, quick twist. All right, next thing, jump squats. So over here, we're gonna bend, jump, and land. That's one, let's do 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Super good job, check it out. All right, this next one I like to call horse stance scuttle. So, get in a horse stance, right here. And what we're gonna do is you gotta stay the same elevation and you gotta scuttle quick. So just like I'm sparring, I wanna slide in or slide out, but I wanna keep a stance. Same thing here, we're just gonna scuttle back and forth. So one, two is one, so one, two is one. Let's do, we'll do six. Here we go. One, so try to move as fast as you can. Stay the same level. Two. Three. Four. Hands are up. Five. One more. Six. And get out of that stance, shake it out. Do one more warm up workout. Get some stretches. Right in those kicks. All right, next thing, we're gonna jump, get our knees to our chest. So I'm here, jump, knees up, put them back down. We're gonna do 15 of those. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Woo, super good job. Check it out. There you go. If you need a drink, grab that up for a stretch. If not, let's get right into it. So, first stretch, quad stretch. Grab your leg, pull it behind you like this, and pull it back. Extra challenge, lean forward. Makes it a little bit harder. Make sure you don't fall on your face though. <laughs> I just hold it here. And switch legs. So grab this leg. Hold it with both hands. And focus on the stretch. And you lean forward if you have to. A couple more seconds. Trying to bob like I am. <laughs> and good. Kick it out. Alright, we're gonna go down for our next couple stretches. We are gonna do a middle split and a front split. So, split on here. 
Metal splits, the regular split we usually do. Try and get as low as you can. And if you put your hands down, if you want extra challenge, elbows down. If you want super challenge, elbows and head down. But make sure when you do that, you don't put your elbows a mile away like this. Because that's not extra challenge. Extra challenge, elbows go straight down in between your feet like this. So that's a good point right there. And just hold this. Get a little lower. Good. And hold it. Let's go another five more seconds. Go. And good. Stay here. Don't go up yet. We're going to go into our front split now. So pick these toes up. Put this knee on the ground. Then twist towards these toes. We're going to front split this direction. Hands on the hips. Or if you can't do that yet, one hand on each side of the knee. There we go. And just hold it here. Whatever you can do, as long as you're trying your best, I'm always going to be proud of you. Go. Hold it for five more seconds. There we go. And good. Don't come up yet. Now we gotta do the other leg. So get in the middle split. Nice and regular. These toes gotta go up. This knee's gotta go down. So knee down, toe up. Hands on hips or one on seat side of the knee. And just hold it. Go. Focus on your breathing and your stretching. Use this time to catch your breath from the warm up. Or catch your breath while you're talking to a camera. <laughs> there we go. And come out of this stretch right here. We're gonna stay low. You can come out of this stretch. Just to shake your legs out. Good. Alright, next stretch. If you're watching the videos, you know this is my favorite hip flexor stretch. So, in a little mini split like this, with your knees. If you need a little more of a challenge, stick your feet out here or flat more. Right here, just like this. Let me show you another angle. So I want to show you this. If I want to get lower, this foot's going to go out. That's more of a challenge. And just hold this here for as long as you can. Ten seconds should do. If you can hold it for like three hours, don't hold it for like three hours. <laughs> uh, you won't go, you won't come out of this stretch. You'll be stuck here. <laughs> you become a table. All right. And ease out of it, how we eat out of it. Hands on the ground, then we pick our knees up. Super good job, give yourself a little shake. Alright, now we're gonna do a nice toe reach, toe touch. So, feet out front, give them a good shake first. There we go, put all the muscles back in place. Hands up, hold this for a couple seconds as high as you can. Make sure the back is straight. And reach for the toes. Alright, good. Try not to bend your knees. I know you have the urge to bend your knees, makes it easier. Don't bend your knees. Can't quite reach your toes? Grab your ankles and try to pull yourself as much forward as you can. If you can reach your toes, pull yourself forward with your toes. And just hold it for a few more seconds. There you go. Good breathing. And just little knees out of it. There you go. Make sure you're straight out your back too. Right, one more stretch, we're gonna stay down here. This is a nice baseball stretch. You guys might know to play baseball. So, I'm gonna get here. And I'm gonna get into what I call a catcher stretch. So, my knees are bent. My elbows are inside of my knees. I can put my hands on the floor if I want. Or I can just keep them up for more comfort than that. I can put my hands on the floor. And just try and spread out your knees using your elbows. There you go. It's called a catcher stretch. There's lots of catchers in baseball. Do it. It's like a catcher position, see? So, if you do play baseball, this one might be your favorite. <laughs> I, for one, don't play baseball. I am horrendous at it. <laughs> so, if you ever want to beat Kill Matt and something, challenge him to baseball. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and shake it out. So, that's the last of our stretches. We're going to do some kicks, like I said before. So, we're going to split this up in two parts basic kick combos, advanced kick combos. Some of the basic kick combos might be harder than the advanced one. Vice versa, some of the might be easy. It just basic kick combos require less jumping, less spinning. Advanced ones have more jumping, more spinning. You might have seen some of these. We'll see if you like. So, first one, we're gonna get to a good guard stance here. 
and I'm gonna do back leg front kick, land, feet together, side kick to the side. So all my back legs coming up, front kick, feet together, side kick, and step. Here we go. We'll do five each side. And one. Here we go. Don't rush it, make sure you touch the ground. Two. That's it, three. Ready, four. And five. And switch your feet. Here we go. All right, make sure back leg front kick. Feet together, same kick, same foot that kicked. Does side kick now, here we go. Make sure both sides are good. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four, one more. And five, shake it out. All right, nice easy one to start with. If you encounter a kick that's a little too hard for you, or you can't quite figure out, keep trying, don't give up on it. If you can't figure it out after a ton of tries, that's okay, I'm happy that you tried and I'm proud of you. All right. Next kick we're gonna do, instant roundhouse, axe kick. So, we're here, guard stance. Instant roundhouse is the front foot. So front foot, and my back foot's gonna come up. Axe kick, I'm aiming for the shoulder, or the clavicle, clavicle is bone and shoulder. So we're here, instant round, axe kick. We'll do five, let's go. Ready, one. Good. Ready, two. Here we go. Three. Let that axe up high. Four. One more. And five. Super good job. Switch feet. One foot. Go do that roundhouse. Back foot. Good come up. Axe kick. If you can't quite get it super high enough yet, and you need to bend on the way up and then straight it down, that's up to you. That might help you. Give that a try. Here we go. One, two. I like to keep my legs straight out the entire way. Two. Go. Ready, three. Ready, four. And five. Do a good job, shake it out. All right. Here we go. I call this combination boomerang. So. Boomerang looks like this. Back leg, gonna come crescent kick, gonna go around hit the center. Land feet together. The same foot that kicked, I'm gonna hook kick and go back where I came from. So it's a boomerang, because you go out, you come right back in. Just like you throw it. Boomerang. So, crescent kick, land, hook kick, right back where you were before. Let's do five each side. Ready, one. There we go, two. That's it. Three. There we go. Ready, four. And number five, let's go. Super good job, switch feet. Same thing, boomerang. So, crash and kick, land, same foot, full kick on the way out. Let's go. Ready, one. Make sure you give yourself a little time before you do the second kick. Two. Or land, I can kick. Ready, three, land, second kick. Ready, four, land, second kick, and five. Super good job. Check it out. All right, let's take a break, quick break from the kicks. This is a jump lunge. So, one foot in front, one foot behind you. Pick which? Bend, jump. Bend, jump. See how I switch your feet every time? You're gonna do that. Let's do 12 total, just to be more dead. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Shake it out. Let's get one more basic kind of combination, a little challenging. Let's get one more in there. We'll get some more spinning and jumping stuff. So, this one, 
It's a triple kick. Might be a little hard to balance. Give it a try. Back leg is going to be front kick, re chamber, side kick, re chamber, front kick. All in the air. So we go one, two, three. So take it slow the first couple times. If you need to redo this kick, redo this kick. So here we go. Triple kick. One, two, three. That's one. One, two, three. That's two. One, two, three. That's three. Ready? One, two, three. That's four. One more. One, two, three. That's five. Make sure when you're doing this, hands are up and my feet are constantly switching positions. That's the workout of this kick. Working on switching positions. So here we go. Back foot. One, two, three. Put it back. If this is your bad foot, like it is for me, I'd be a little harder. So try to keep it good. Ready? One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. Let's do one, two, three. That's three, two more. Keep it going. One, two, three. That's four. One more. One, two, three. Super good job. Shake it out. All right, that's all our basic kicks. Time for advanced kicks. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath in. Another one. If you need a drink, look at that now. Before we start these advanced kicks, you can always pause the video. I'll be here when you're playing again. All right. So first one, kind of hard. You might have seen parts of it before. So front kick, turn around side, spinning hook. Looks like this. Back leg is going to do front kick and land forward. So that one opposite feet. Back leg is going to do side kick. I land forward I'm on the same foot as the beginning. Back leg is going to do spinning hook kick. And I land opposite foot. So I'm constantly switching. It's like I'm walking forward. One more time to see. Front kick. Front on side kick. Hook kick. So it's a hard one to keep balanced because you're spinning, spinning. We'll do three each because this is a little dizzy kick. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. One, two, Three, and back. Make sure you have room for this kick. Three, one, two, three. Good, good, good. come back. One more. Ready, one, two, and three. Here we go. Now switch feet. So we have this foot back. Now we're switching. Here we go. So back leg front kick. Land turn on side. Land spinning. Here we go. One, two, three. Come back. Two more. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. One more. Let's get it good. Ready? One, two, three. And go ahead. Land on back. Deep breath in. And out. All right. Now this next kick, I wouldn't use it as sparring. <laughs> it's more training your balance, training your kicks, and training your targeting, which you can use all that in sparring. Those concepts. So here we go. Pick a foot, have one in front, triple side. You're gonna do going up. One, two, three, going down. So starting up high. One, two, three. Let me show you one more time, just like this way. So I'm going low to high, and one high to low. There we go again. I wouldn't use that as far in, right for a balance. Make sure we chamber all the way in. It's real hard to triple side, but once you do it, we'll do four each foot. Here we go. Ready? So start feet together. Pick a foot and just go. One, two, three. Put it down. High the low. One, two, three. Make sure you reach in. It's a little hard. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. One, two, three. So if you gotta slow down to reach chamber, slow down to reach chamber. Here we go. Two more. One, two, three. Ready? One. Two, three, one more set. And then we get to the barefoot. Oh no. Ready? One, two, three. And up high. One, two, three. Alright, switch feet. So now we're going with my barefoot. Let's see how we do. We'll do four. Go low, go in from high. Alright. One, two, three. Ready? 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 One, two, three.
three, and going high to low. One, two, three. If this is your bad foot like it is for me, double focus on balance, double focus on technique. And that's how you get better. Ready? One, two, three, and three, two, one. Two more, let's go. Ready? One, two, three, and three, two, one. One more set. You can go to proud of you. Ready? One, two, three, and three, two, one. Shake it out as a real challenge one. Deep breath in, and out. In, and out. All right, let's get a nice little simple one, some jumping kicks. We're gonna do slide front, jump front. So I'm starting with the front foot, I'm sliding with the back, front kick, and I'm doing jump front. So front kicks, we're all working this time. But the back foot, doing all the motoring, all the engineering. Here we go. So, slide in, one, jump one. Let's do, we'll do four. Ready, one. Very good. There we go. Two. Belt's coming off. Whoopsies. There you go. Ready, halfway there. Ready, three. That's it, one more. Make sure you're sliding and jumping. And four, very good. Switch feet now. Remember, slide, jump for it. So slide with the back foot, jump for it. There you go, here we go. Ready, one. Good. Focus on slide, focus on jump. Two. Good. Ready, three. Good. Last one. Four. Super good. Whew. Shake it out. We're doing great. Deep breath in. And out. In. And out. Okie doke. Now we're going to do fake fun roundhouse, in out roundhouse. It's a sneaky one. So I'm here. Back foot is going to do fake front. Now my, up, now my current back foot is gonna come in reverse roundhouse kicks. So it looks like it's a front kick. I'm coming around the same direction with the other roundhouse kicks. Hitting them in the body, hitting them in the head. Let's go. Forward to side. This one you're the bottom for sure. Here we go. That's one. That's two. Make the fake convincing. Look at the fake. It's much more convincing you to do that. That's three. One more. That's four. Switch feet now. So, from here, fake front, back foot, and now right now, kick. Let's go. Keep it anywhere between belt, all the way to head. It's all good for me. Here we go. Ready? One, two. Here we go. Ready? One, two. A little faster now. Let's go. One, two, good. One more. Ready? One, two. Super good job. Woo! One more advanced kick. And then to that final challenge I said in the beginning. Woo! It'll be fun. All right. So this one you've probably not seen before. I call it fake turnaround instant hook. So when you turn around side kick, you look over your shoulder, twist your body. It looks like you're doing a side kick. So I want you to do that here. Fake, come right back. Fake, come back. I'm gonna fake, when I come back, front foot, quick instant hook. So I was expecting this foot to come all the way around and kick. Really, you get an instant, uh, instant hook kick to the head, neck, shoulders, and you're around there. It's a real good scoring move. Definitely try this one. Here we go. So fake, hook. Fake, hook. Make sure the fake is convincing. So don't just Look here for a couple seconds, check your watch, check your phone, then kick. No, it's gotta be quick. All right, here we go, let's do four. Ready? One, fake fan. Two, you can even pivot your foot if that helps the fake. Three, and four. Super good. Now we're switching to the other side. So I'm here, 
Look it over my shoulder. Kick with the front foot. Over. Hook kick. Shoulder and neck is perfect for hook kick. Here we go. One. Two. Three. One more. Four. Super good job. So definitely use that kick after you've done a, turn, a ton of turn on side. So if you expect that turn on side, you're gonna hook. But now, what we're gonna wait for. Final challenge. I call it the Elim in Nation Push Up Challenge. Emphasis on limbs. So, we're gonna do a special push up challenge. I'm gonna show you how. So, we're gonna do different push ups. Starts out, two regular push ups. So, I go one, two. That's level one. If I can complete that, that's awesome. So, I do my one, two push ups. One, two. Now, I eliminate a limb. So, one of my feet goes bye bye. And then I do two push ups. One, two. Then I switch feet to the opposite foot. One, two. That's level two. If you can do that, that's fantastic. Now we gotta get to level three. It's where it gets real hard. So level three, already use both our feet. Now we gotta use our hands. So I gotta eliminate one of my hands. That's so hard, but I wanna see you try. So one, two. And switch is real challenging. Ready? One, two. There we go. If you could do level three, you're like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're super strong. Level four, this is almost impossible. If you can do this, you got like muscles on top of your muscles. So, we gotta eliminate one hand and one foot. So I gotta eliminate one hand, and I gotta eliminate one foot. So make sure you have, if I'm using my right hand, my left foot is on the ground. Don't do right and right or you'll just, you know, fall. You know, support yourself. So right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. So. I'm going right hand, my left foot's on the ground, everything else is in the air. You gotta try and do two push ups. That wasn't really a push up. Let's try one more time. That was a little better. And you gotta switch to the other side. Lefty with my right leg. Cameraman is laughing because he knows I'm gonna fall. Here we go. Let's give it a try, anyways. Ready? One. That was a little, I gotta go a little lower. Two. That was a good one. If you can do all that, you've completed the elimination push-up challenge, all right? So I want you to try that. Comment what you were able to do. Level one, which is regular push-ups. Level two, which is push-up uh, push with feet. Level three is one-handed. Level four, one-handed, one-footed. If you can complete each level, let me know which level you complete. Whatever you do, I'm proud of you. So if you only do level one, that's totally fine, because level two, three, and four, super hard. So if you do level one, I'm proud of you. If you even try level one, if you try level two, three, four, I'm proud of you. So I'm gonna try and do it all together. Let's we'll see how far I get. Here we go. All right, starting from one to four. All right, one, completed. Foot up, or straight to two. Two, two. All right, two is completed, straight to three. Half. Three is completed. Here's a challenging one. Go straight to four. All right. Woo. Oh no, I almost fell. I kind of fell on that one. Let's see. And we did it. We kind of did it. Level four is a little rough. That's fine if it's a little rough for you. Whatever you can do, I'm proud of you. Comment below what you did. And that's the end of today's workout. Make sure before you finish though, do a couple trunk twists, quick cool down, cool down support. Do some huggers, calm down our arms after the push ups. Very good. Shake out the legs for all the kicking. Really shake them out. <laughs> and that's today's workout. So hope you, hope you had fun today. Hope you guys are happy. Hope you guys are safe. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks up. On your own. Bye-bye.